Slowly closing my eyes from all that I said Hello everyone, I'm Diana and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of behind the scenes of how I style my dark foot photography scenes. As usual, I'm shooting in my living room. As you can see, I have a big window and luckily I have dark curtains that I can use to block the light and get an almost fully dark room. When I start styling, sometimes I plan it in my head and sometimes I just go with the flow and see what looks good or not. Here I placed a glass with my jam in it on a book to create um, some levels and different heights. But I didn't like the first jar so I decided to use a bigger one and I think it looked better. ingredient here are the strawberries so I will use them to style the scene and maybe place them around to create a bit of story and also let the viewers know which ingredients were used in this recipe. So as you can see, I keep adding props, in this case the strawberries and the muffins and some green leaves just to add a little bit more story and also to make it more dynamic. Since my room wasn't dark enough because I was shooting at around 3 p.m. and it was really bright outside, I had to add a black backdrop. The camera I'm using is a Nikon D750 with a 50mm 1.4 lens. I 
also kept the aperture low at around 1.8 or 1.4 because I like the dreamy effect it creates and that was the style I was going for. Slowly lifting the shadow from all of my hands Slowly closing my eyes from all that I said With a little love we can change the world With a little love For the muffin scene, I wanted to do an overhead shot. I kept pretty much the same props and background. Styling for an overhead shot usually works well with a different angle too, like a 45 degree. And for this type of shots, I usually keep my aperture a little bit higher, like a 3.5 or 4, because I want more things to be in focus. the same styling idea with the strawberries, the book, the leaves, and I also added some flowers. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this video will help you in your food photography and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one and have fun styling!